I get the question, where is the real estate market headed in 2024? All the time. Interest rates, payments, and selling houses, those are the three things that I'm most focused on in 2024. The fact of the matter is this, interest rates are good, and I believe that the Fed isn't gonna do anything with the Fed funds rate for probably the first two quarters of 2024. So if you're thinking about selling, right now is the best time to sell in the market. It always has been in the spring, don't wait. But if you're still on the fence, you're not sure, and you're just kicking this around, sure. Then maybe you should wait and see if the Fed actually reduces the Fed funds rate, which will impact interest rates, and then go from there. People ask me, you know, why do I focus? Why do you recommend that people focus on payments instead of interest rate? Because a payment is what you have to pay every single month. The interest rate is just what impacts your payment. So I always give this analogy that if you had a payment of a thousand dollars a month with an interest rate of 10% or a payment of $2,500 a month with an interest rate of 3%, which deal would you take? Most people, they look at me like, oh my gosh, this is a trick question because don't I want to take the lower interest rate even if the payment's higher? But actually, why wouldn't I want a lower payment, even if the interest rate is high. Exactly. You always want the lower payment because the lower payment is what you actually have to pay. So focus on the payment. And what do I mean by that? The interest rate might be high, but you can do buy down programs. And there's all this creativity. If you talk to your loan officer on how you can get that payment down, just make sure that you fully understand what's going on and how you got the payment to where it is. And will that payment stay where it is? And if it doesn't, well, then when will it change? And what what will it change to? These are key things you need to focus on. The payment is the number one thing. The interest rate isn't. You know what? You're not the only one that's getting a letter, a mailer, a text message, a call, anything possible right now from real estate agents or real estate investors because there's not enough inventory on the market. And the best thing that you can do right now if you're considering selling is to get an analysis by a real estate agent or we call it a market analysis to find out how much your home is really worth. Then after that, if you decide that, you know what? I think we really want to do this. The next most important thing you can do if you're thinking about selling your house is figuring out what is that that transition process going to look like uh, that's very complicated especially in a complicated buyer side market like we're in right now because you have no idea when you're going to find a house the third thing is is you need to get your home prepared to sell i'm a real estate investor everybody that watches my content knows that when i help people buy or sell a home i focus on creating maximum value out of that house through interior design staging and all the different things that i do on my flip and my rehab and my new construction projects i bring that in into the selling process and the preparation of your home when you go to sell. So if you focus on those few things as a seller, you're gonna be able to make a good decision and you're gonna be able to maximize the value of your house.